Thank you, Mr. President. And I thank my colleague, the Chairman of the Commerce Committee, for his leadership on this important issue. And I'm glad to be on the Senate floor to set the record straight because we are here to talk about Internet freedom and about making sure that the Internet doesn't have undue cost and expenses on consumers. If you liked TARP and you liked the bailout of the big banks, well, guess what? Then you should vote for this resolution because this resolution is about whether you are going to stop the communications companies who want to make the Internet more expensive by various techniques to have their way. Now, if you feel that the FCC should establish some rules to protect the freedom of the Internet, then you should oppose the Hutchison resolution. I myself prefer legislation that I've introduced and some of my colleagues support called the Freedom of the Internet Act that goes further than what the federal communication system has done to implement true net neutrality. I would prefer that, and maybe in the future my colleagues will be working on such legislation. But as it is today, the Federal Communication uh, uh, Commission has taken a half step, if you will, by proposing some rules that will set in place some protections for consumers to make sure that they are protected on important aspects of keeping Internet costs down. The problem with the FCC rules is that they only apply in some cases to fixed broadband and not to mobile broadband. So if you think about it this way, the entire uh, Internet is moving to a mobile broadband platform. That is our handheld devices, whether they're Blackberries or phones or what have you. So many more Americans are accessing the Internet that way. So the FCC has come up with rules on transparency and no blocking. That is to make sure that no content is uh, blocked or slowed down for any undue cost or reason and a non-discrimination rule. Unfortunately, those two last points, no blocking and unreasonable discrimination, don't apply to the mobile side. So we have work to do to make sure that the youth of America, who's consuming so much content online through their mobile devices, aren't going to be artificially charged more or slowed down their access all because the telecommunications industry wants to have its way with the Internet. Now, my colleagues have been out here talking about innovation. I can tell you the Internet has had a ton of innovation and a ton of content creation, all because there has been an even playing field and net neutrality. And the fact now that the telecommunications company, who is debating an, an important issue, the lines that get blurred between telecommunications and the Internet, and it's clear that we don't have all the rules in place to make sure that consumer interests are protected. But we do today have one thing, the FCC rules that are trying to slow down telecommunication companies from artificially either blocking or making your content on the Internet more expensive. And again, when you go to the mobile phone model and you're being charged for time, and data transfer, the fact that that data transfer and time take longer means you're going to have more expensive phone bills. That's kind of why I said it was TARP-like, because the ka that you're going to hear from the phone companies on the money that they're going to make from this is unbelievable. So thank God the FCC took a half step and said, whoa, slow down, we're not going to let you do that. That's why people like Vince Cerf and Tim Berners-Lee, the architects and uh, inventors uh, pushing the Internet, have said what a bad idea it is to not make sure that net neutrality is the law of the land. Now, I, I, I noticed my colleague who just spoke said, well, there, there haven't been any problems. There haven't been any issues. I, I read the online uh, publications, and Larry Lessig, somebody that I trust, uh, was recounting in one of his interviews exactly what happened. That Comcast went in and basically blocked large data files of peer-to-peer -peer transfer, what's called BitTorrent traffic. And first, Comcast said, no, 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 we didn't do that. We didn't block that. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. And then literally, basically, when it was found out that they did, 
They said, oh, no, no, we didn't block it. We just slowed it down. And they sent little messages, as Mr. Lessig says in his article, to the Internet traffic to confuse the recipient and basically disrupt their traffic. Okay? So that's what's happening. These providers who think, if I can control the pipe, now I can also control the flow. It's also, as Mr. Lessig said later in this article, as if the entire electricity grid, your refrigerator and your toaster and your dryer, all of a sudden would get start charging different rates and different things because the electricity company would decide that it had the ability to charge different rates. Would we put up with that? No, we wouldn't put up with that. So why would we put up with allowing telcos to just run wild on the Internet, charging consumers anything that they want based on the fact that they think they have a control on the switch? So I'm so proud that uh, the chairman, uh, Senator Rockefeller, has led this fight for the freedom of the Internet to drive down costs, to keep innovation, and to protect net neutrality. The FCC rules do not go far enough. You can't continue to have this half step and not clearly, on the mobile side, give consumers the protection they need. But for today, if you want to vote with Internet consumers and Internet users on driving down the cost of the Internet, then vote against this resolution and keep the minimal FCC rules in place until we can get stronger legislation passed. Make no mistake about it, the other side is talking about well, they don't want to regulate the Internet. That's true. They don't want to regulate telcos who want to take advantage of the fact that they own pipes and can charge you a lot more. I'm glad the FCC at least took this measure. We should make sure that it stands until we can even get stronger Internet freedom protection. I thank the President, and I yield the floor.